In this video, we will be talking about a fundamental concept in C programming variables. Understanding variables is crucial for any programmer as they are the basic building blocks of any program. So, let us talk about some of the key aspects of variables in C programming. Imagine that we need the computer to calculate the sum of two numbers. However, the computer does not know which numbers to add. Therefore, the first step is to input two numbers into the computer. Let us assume that the user input the values 10 and 20. These values are then stored in the computer's main memory or RAM. Memory can be visualized as a series of locations, each with a unique address that begins at 0. Assume that the value 10 is stored in the memory location with address 1022 and 20 in location with address 3. To add these numbers, 20 must be retrieved from this location and 10 must be retrieved from the location at address 1022. However, as humans, we often struggle to remember numerical values, which is why we assign names to this memory locations. For instance, we can name memory location 3 as num1 and location 1022 as num2. By doing so, we can retry the values from these locations using their respective names instead of their address. This programming technique is commonly referred to as using variables, where num1 and num2 are the variables in this case. A variable is a named location in the memory where the programmer can store data and later retrieve the data using the variable name. Let us examine the statement int x equal to 4. When this statement is executed, a memory location is allocated and the name x is associated with that location. The value 4 is then stored in that location. Let us assume that x is linked to the memory location 1020. Therefore, we can say that the variable has the name x, address 1020 and value 4. The value assigned to the variable can be changed during the execution of the program. That is why we call it as a variable. If we execute the statement x equal to 20, after this statement, the value of x will be updated to 20. Now we can say that the variable x has address 1020 and value 20. Let us examine this program segment. Within the segment, x, y and sum are variables. When this statement is executed, three memory locations will be allocated with the names x, y and sum. For the sake of example, let us assume that x, y and sum are associated with memory locations 1020, 1 and 1022 respectively. When x equal to 10 is executed, the value 10 will be placed in memory location 1020. Similarly, when y equal to 20 is executed, the value 20 will be placed in the memory location with address 1. The statement sum equal to x plus y will retrieve the content of x and y, add them together and store the result in the memory location with name sum. Therefore, the value 30 will be placed in the memory location 1022. The next statement retrieves the value from the memory location 1022 and print it on the screen. As a result, value 30 will be displayed on the screen. In programming, we use names for all the instances where we want to store and retrieve data from memory rather than referring to the memory address. These names are known as variables in programming terminology. Variables must be declared before they are used in the program. A variable declaration in C tells the compiler the name and data type of the variable. On the other hand, variable definition allocates memory to the variable. Most of the time, variable declaration and definition will be done at the same time. However, this is not always the case. It depends on the modifiers that mention along with the variable. We will discuss more about modifiers in a later video when we talk about storage classes. The syntax for declaring a variable is data type variable name. The data type specifies the type of the value that will be stored in the variable and it determines the amount of memory that will be allocated for that variable. In case where the declaration and definition of the variable are the same, the necessary amount of memory will be allocated to that variable. For example, to declare an integer variable named sum, we write int sum. 
where sum is the variable name and int is the data type that means integer. Similarly, if you want to create a character variable called grade, we can declare it as char grade, where grade is the variable name and char is the data type. Let us assume that here the variable declaration and definition are the same. Then along with variable declaration, the required amount of memory will be allocated to these variables. Here we have declared sum as an integer variable. Usually an integer variable takes, takes up 4 bytes of memory. It depends on the system that we are using. In the case of char data type, one byte of memory will be allocated for this variable. Let us have a detailed discussion on data types in C in a separate video. A variable name can be any valid identifier. That means it must follow the rules of identifier naming. Variables must consist of only letters, digits and underscore with no white space in between. Let us see some valid variable names. Amount. So it consists of only letters. Roll underscore number. It consists of letters as well as underscore. Sum underscore of underscore three numbers. It consists of letters, underscore and number. These are all valid variable names. Total space sum. This is an invalid variable name as white space is not allowed in between. Variables must always begin with either a letter or an underscore. 3 underscore factorial is an invalid variable name as variables cannot start with a digit. It should start with either a letter or an underscore. Underscore factorial is valid since it starts with underscore. Variables are case sensitive. So in this case, all letters are small case. But in the second case, R is capital. That means these two represent two different variable names. Variable name should not be a keyword. Int, this is a keyword, so we cannot use it as a variable name. It is an invalid variable name. No special symbols are allowed except underscore. Total dollar amount. This is an invalid variable name as dollar is not allowed. Only special symbol that is allowed is underscore. You can choose any name that follows the rule as variable names. However, it is better to give meaningful names to variables that make sense. For instance, if you intend to store the value of total amount, it is advisable to name the variable total amount instead of a generic x. This way, the name of the variable clearly communicates its intent, its intended use and makes this code more readable and understandable. Let us now see about variable initialization. Initializing a variable involves assigning an initial value at the time of declaration. For example, to declare an integer variable named x and assign a value of 3 to it, we can write int x equal to 3. This will allocate some memory, name it as x and put the value 3 in that memory location. This will allocate some memory, name it as x and put the value 3 in that memory location. Later, we can change the value of the variable using assignment statement. For example, after this statement, if we execute x equal to 10, then the value in x will change to 10. So that's all about variables in C programming. Thank you for watching.